Well, Jonathan Major's trial has kicked off, and quite honestly, it looks like it's going to be a wild ride. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the early days of the trial, what's gone on so far, and why I think this is probably not going to play out how people think. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC content and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we want to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are really in the know. Well, if you follow the drama that is Marvel Studios, you know one of their big issues right now is Jonathan Majors. The guy is an amazing actor, but his legal situation is a total mess. And up in New York, his assault trial is now underway, with the defense and prosecution dropping their opening statements on Monday. And, as expected, they are both giving very different versions of what happened. Now, to wind back the clock a little bit, back in March, the Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and Loki star was arrested when the police responded to a 911 call. His girlfriend at the time, Grace Jabari, alleged that she had been assaulted by Majors, with the police noting that she had sustained some minor injuries. Now, Jonathan Majors actually filed a cross-complaint against Jabari later on, alleging she was the one who attacked him. But the prosecutors on the case later informed the police and the defense that they are not prosecuting Jabari in relation to the incident, which many people have pointed to as something very interesting and seems to add a little bit of fire to some people's positions. Now, the prosecution at the trial kicked everything off and actually said that, and I quote, Majors used cruelty and manipulation to control Grace Jabari, and when the two-year girlfriend discovered that the acclaimed actor was cheating on her with another woman, the psychological abuse turned physical. Now, one thing that was agreed upon and confirmed was that this whole thing kicked off when Jabari spotted a text message on Major's phone. The prosecutor claims that when Jabari took the phone out of his hand to see the message, that Major's grabbed the left side of Jabari's body and pried her fingers off the phone. The prosecution said that this caused bruising, swelling, and substantial pain. Now, the prosecutor went on to say the confrontation spilled onto the streets in Chinatown where he accused Majors of, and I quote, violently shoving Jabari back inside their chauffeured ride, throwing her like a football into the Escalade. Now, this matches up a lot with some of the stories that we heard all along, and it is nice to hear it aired in court, but obviously a jury still has to decide. Now, the defense said this went down quite differently, and even said that she ripped the buttons off of his coat and tore the pocket off his shirt with her bare hands. I'm assuming they'll have some evidence to support this assertion, but those things seem kind of small, and definitely something that could happen if somebody was being assaulted. Obviously, they need time to make their case, but I don't know that this, as an opening statement, really helped Majors that much. Now, one of the things I did find interesting is how the defense concluded their statement because they seem to indicate that this was pretty much a false allegation. While concluding their statement, they said, and I quote, Mr. Major's lifetime of hard work was coming to fruition and his career seemed unstoppable until he ended his relationship with Jabari and she made these false allegations. This is a man who spent 30 years working hard to get to where he was on March 25th, a man with a world at his fingertips. This is a case about the end of a relationship, not about a crime, at least not one that Majors committed. In revenge, she made these false allegations to ruin Mr. Majors and take everything away he spent his life working for. So, based on these statements, it's pretty clear that his defense has quite the different outlook on what this is all about, and facing off with these kind of charges, it is a rather risky position to take, but if they can prove it's the truth, well then it'll be capital well spent. Now the trial is expected to last about now the trial is expected to last about two weeks, and we're definitely going to see Jabari testify. But at this point, it's unclear if Majors will actually take the stand. Majors has already paid a price in his career, being dropped by several high-profile projects as well as his management company and public relations team. And it seems pretty clear to everybody that Marvel Studios is going to take some kind of action, depending on the outcome of the trial. But it seems to me he will very likely be recast as Kang the Conqueror and shown the door based on how Disney usually handles these nasty situations. At the end of the day, this is a slam dunk if he's guilty. He is accused of real crimes that should not be tolerated in society, and I don't want him to get a pass for that. I just want the trial to work its way out so we can find out what really happened. Obviously, we're going to have to wait till the end of the trial, and I am pretty happy we're getting information from the courtroom. Hopefully, the solid reporting continues, and we're able to follow this as close as possible.